Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Astin Padasale. So in this video, I'll be discussing 50 expected questions for your GATE Excel Zoology paper. So the upcoming video, I'll be publishing uh, 100 questions for Microbiology, Biochemistry, Botany, and Food Tech. Okay? So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, only then it will be benefited. First question is, to which class of Drosophila developmental gene does this engrain belong to? Okay, so this particular end grain, in short form it is called this E and it belongs to segment polarity gene. So you need to know what are the list of gene that comes under maternal effect gene, gap gene, like that you need to know about this drosophila developmental genes. Next, which inhibition can be reverse, reversed by adding an excess amount of substrate? So it is no doubt it is your competitive inhibition. Please do refer the graph for this enzyme inhibition. At least, if you can't able to understand deeper, just analyze the graph alone. That's well sufficient. Next, ragoons and American crows or So, both the uh, species comes under generalist species. So, you need to know about the specialist species. So, species, there are type, many types of species. Specialist, generalist, indicator, flagship, keystone, umbrella. So, you need to know about each definition along with an example. So, sometimes match the following type of questions can be asked about these types of species. Uh, Minamata disease is a neurological syndrome caused by. So, this disease is caused by methyl mercury. So, this disease is due to mercury poison. Okay, and specifically, methyl mercury is responsible for causing this particular disease. A fifth question is a type of natural selection where individuals will sacrifice their own leaves in an effort to save closely related organism is called as kin selection. Okay, so you need to know the difference between altruism and kin selection. Don't confuse between both. Next is an handicap principle states that female prefer males with handicap. So handicap in the sense a mating character that reduces survival chances of a male because handicaps are indicator of heritable variability heritable viability. So, uh, who gave this particular handicap principle? So, sometimes they will be asking about the discovery, the person who have gave that particular concept. So, this are uh, most common questions in gate examination. So, handicap principle was given by uh, this Israel scientist who is named as Zahavi. So, the name is Zahavi's handicap principle and the example of this particular handicap principle is your peacock peck or peacock palmage. Okay. Next, seventh question. A state of decreased physiological activity in an animal marked by a reduced body temperature and reduced metabolic rate for a period of weeks or months is called as hibernation. So, the same question if they are asking for a daily basis means it is considered stopper. But here they are asking about period of weeks and months it is called as hibernation. So, there are difference between torpor, hibernation, winter sleep and estivation. So, one year, I think 2022, they had asked about four, four concepts at a stretch in a single question they had asked. So, know the difference between each and everything. Okay. Next question, the gene that are carried on Y chromosome are called as holandric genes. Okay. Next, which is the self-antigen in myasthenia gravis autoimmune disease? So, it is your ACH, that is acetylcholine receptor. Okay. So, this receptor is a self-antigen. Sometimes they will be asking about which is a target antigen for a particular autoimmune disease. I think in QB book, you can be able to find a tabulated column. So, just give a read on the tabulated column given, given, given in their QB book. So, in this myasthenia gravis, autoantibodies are produced and directed against a neuromuscular junction. So, say here they are asking about self-antigen, which is this acetylcholine receptor. Then, question, what type of gastrulation movement are observed in drosophila neuroblasm? So, it is ingression. So, ingression is a gastrulation movement that is observed both in your drosophila neuroblast. At the same time, your CH in uh, mesoderm will also be formed as a result of this ingression only. So, there are four process, involution, delamination, ingression, epigoli. Each has its own example. So, don't forget to read about the gastrulation movement in detail. Next is a thrombolytic agent that is used for treatment of eczemic so uh, stroke, a pulmonary embolism and heart attack is tissue plasminogen activator which is an RDNA product. It is produced by RDNA technology and it was produced by this gene tech company. Sometimes they will be asking about which company is making that particular RDNA thing. At the same time, try to know about some other thing like leptin, EPO. So, those kind of questions you can expect. Next question is, O-link glycosylation takes place in which compartment? Sorry, I had made a mistake while typing. 
They are asking about which particular cellular organelle is responsible for this O-link glycosylation. So there were uh, two uh, uh, type of glycosylation phase. One is uh, this uh, O-link, another one is N-link. So O-link takes place after N-link. Okay, N-link glycosylation takes place in uh, endoplasmic reticulum, whereas this O-link glycosylation takes place in your Golgi apparatus. Next, 13th question, species that was extinct before 89 years because of climatic change and habitat loss, but it was recently rediscovered in the year 2022. What is the name of the species? This is a recent question that is asked from CSIR. So, you can expect these questions in, in this particular gate, okay, Excel 2024. The name of the species is Harlequin frog. Okay. Next is which amino acid has two chiral center? So, the uh, which amino acid has two chiral center? It is your isoleucine and 309. Uh, so, okay. So, you need to tell me which amino acid has no chiral center at all. Okay. So, from amino acid, you can expect some more questions in gate Excel paper. Next is uh, flame cells, which is also called solenocytes. So, the main excretory stru uh, structures present in platyhelminth. Next is a transition area between two biological community where two community meet and integrate is called as ecotone. The ecotone will be experiencing maximum biodiversity you can able to observe in this particular ecotone. Next, a species that has disproportionately large effect on its natural environment relative to its abundance is called as keystone species. Okay, So, keystone species even though they are very less in uh, number, they have a drastic effect in the community if that particular species has been removed. And the example of keystone species include your Indian banyan tree, bee, uh, sea otter, alligator. These are the example of keystone species. Okay. Next question, plants and their pollinator, parasite and the host, prey and predator. So, these are the example of co-evolution. Okay, in which both the species they reciprocally affect each other evolution. So that's why it is named as co-evolution. And your immune system also comes under the example of this co-evolution. Next, living fossils include horseshoe crab, platy, uh, platypus. These are the example of living fossils. So you need to know about example of living fossil when you, uh, under the category of mammal, invertebrate, vertebrate and plants. Okay, so from living fossil, you can expect at least one question for this gate Excel zoology paper 2024 examination. Next, which hormone stimulate the isthina cells of pancreas to release the juice to in pancreatic digestive enzyme? So, it is CCK. Okay, cholecystokinin is an enzyme hormone which will be stimulating the pancreas and that will be releasing few digestive enzymes that will be helping the process of digestion. Next is autoimmune disease that is uh, caused due to an adrenal insufficiency is called as Addison disease. So, it is due to a hyposecretion of cortisol from the adrenal gland. So, you need to tell me which disease is due to hypersecretion of this adrenal gland hormones. Okay, so you need to tell me. Next, the karyotype of Kainfelter syndrome is 47XXY. So, in this particular syndrome, males will be having extra X chromosome. So, you need to know about trisomy 21, trisomy 18 and other chromosomal disorder. You need to definitely, you need to know about Turner syndrome. Okay. An infectious disease caused by a parasite found on the fecus of triatomine bug, which is also called as kissing bug, is called as Chagas disease. Okay, so you need to know the parasite responsible for the disease and the vector organism. And whether some will be due to bite, some will be due to transmitted due to fecus. So you need to clearly study about all those things. Next is African tick bite fever is caused by Rickettsia species. So it is a bacterial species. That African uh, tick bite fever is caused by Rickettsia species. So, I try to know about the protozoal parasites that are causing disease in human. And don't forget to study about the vector uh, transmissible organism for the particular disease. Next is polygyny. So, polygyny is association of one male with multiple female and polygyny will be increasing the male reproductive success. Whereas, polyandry means one female with multiple male. And the example of polyandry is sandpiper. So, you need to tell me what is the example of polygon. The next question is which signaling pathway is mutated in cyclopia? So, okay, so signaling pathway that is mutated in cyclopia is your Hedgecock signaling pathway, which is involved in the process of facial morphogenesis. Okay, so there will be mutation in the Sony Hedgecock signaling. That's why the cyclopia condition will be occurring. 
Next, the cofactor involved in the catalysis of this phosphoenal pyruvate into pyruvate by this pyruvate kinase. So, simply they are asking which is a cofactor for this pyruvate kinase enzyme because you are magnesium Mg2. So, you need to know about the cofactor for cytochrome oxidase, cofactor for this nitrogenase enzyme, cofactor for you. Okay. Next, during development, hematopoietic stem cells which give rise to blood cell and endothin itself which give rise to blood vessel. Okay. So, they are asking from which germ layer hematopoietic stem cells and uh, endothin cells are coming like that they are asking. So, they are coming from your mesodermal germ layer. So, you need to know about list of cells and list of organ originating from ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. So, the comment section you are going to answer me from which germ layer your extra embryonic tissue are coming from. Next, 29th question, divergent evolution give rise to? So, divergent evolution give rise to homologous structure, remember DH and convergent evolution will be giving rise to analogous structure. Remember DH and CA, okay, that is a code word. Next, the speciation in which population splits into two geographically isolated population experiencing dissimilar selective pressure and genetic drift is called as allopatric. So, if you find out the word geographically isolated means remember you need to give allopatric speciation is the correct answer. Next question, which geological period is characterized by the first appearance of your mammal? It is your Triassic period. Okay. So, you need to tell me at which period or which era the dinosaur got extinct. And you need to tell me in which particular geological time point your angiosperm got diversified. Geological time scale again a very important thing friends. So, don't forget to study. 32. Question number 32 is that which species concept utilizes morphological and molecular characteristic to dis distinguish between species? It is phylogenetic species concept. So, you need to tell me about biological species concept, evolutionary species concept, ecological species concept. So, when they are speaking about morphological and molecular characteristics means phylogenetic species concepts is the correct answer. Next, a species that is selected to rise as support for biodiversity conservation is called as flagship species. And you need to tell me what about this umbrella species and know about the example of flagship species. Next is a phenomenon where the genotype of mother influences the phenotype of offspring is called as maternal effect. There is a difference between maternal effect and maternal inheritance and the example of maternal effect is the cell coiling. Next a point mutation in which single nucleotide change results in codon the codes for different amino acid is called as missense mutation. If it is coding for stop codon means uh, it is called as nonsense mutation. Next, a replicative helicase for E. coli is DNA-B. So, DNA-B is an hexameric motor protein that will be acting as a helicase. They will be acting at the replication port. So, they will be separating the parental cell at the time of prokaryotic DNA replication. Next, peptidyl transferase of ribosome resides in the larger subunit. So, it is residing in 50 s subunit. And this peptidyl transferase activity is given by your 23 s ribosomal RNA. Next, 38, question number 38 is, in normal interface cell nuclei, gene-rich chromosome region are found in. So, gene-rich chromosome are present in the interior of your nucleus and gene-poor chromosomes are generally present at the edge of nucleus. So, they are present in the nuclear periphery region. Next is, phosphofectose kinase, which is an uh, important regulatory enzyme in your glycolysis, is activated by. So, this PFK is activated by fectose 2 comma 6 bisphosphate and AMP. And this PFK is inhibited by your citric and ATP. Okay. Next, how many ATP are produced by substrate level phosphorylation in your Krebs cycle from each glucose? So, from substrate level phosphorylation, two ATPs are produced. Okay. So, you need to know about the energetics of different bio biochemical pathway. Next, in rare inherited disorder characterized by an absence of peroxisome or reduced function of peroxisome is called as Zellweger disease. Okay. So, you need to tell me which disease is due to uh, non-functional of your mitochondria. Okay. Next question is vaccine induced immunity is, or is known as. So, vaccine generally they will be conferring artificial active immunity. Okay. So, you need to tell me what kind of immunity is given by your mother's breast milk. Okay. And what kind of immunity is given by your transfusion. Which immunoglobulin is made by B cell at the time of maturation? So, B cell at the time of maturation, you need to read the question correctly. So, it is IgM. Okay, so 2 IgM is a B cell receptor. It will be acting as a B cell receptor. Okay. 
Next, a relationship between two biological organisms where one organism benefits while other organism remains unaffected is called as commensalism. Now, you need to tell me what are the examples of commensalism. Okay, so read the question correctly, friends. Okay. Which of the following microorganisms or which microbe help the termite to digest cellulose? Okay, the microorganism name is Trichonympha camponula. A, it is an organism that will be helping your termite to digest the cellulose. Okay, so they will be producing the enzyme called cellulase that will be digesting the cellulose present in wood and paper. Next question is human genetic disorder resulting from defects in NER, like nucleotide exchange repair pathway is called the zero derma pigmentosum. Next question is type 1 hypersensitive reaction is mediated by, so it is mediated by your IgE antibody. So you need to tell me type 3 hypersensitivity is mediated by which, whether it is mediated by antibody or whether it is mediated by immune complex. Okay? And you need to study about the example of type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Okay. Next question is allopurina. So this allopurina is generally employed as a uh, drug for your gout treatment. And this allopurina, they generally inhibit xanthine oxidase. Okay, so this allopurina is considered as xanthine oxidase inhibitor. Next is a single molecule of hemoglobin can transport how many molecules of oxygen? At a time, they can bind to four molecules of oxygen. So ultimately, they can transport four molecules of oxygen. Next is which component of protein absorb UV light at 280 nanometer? So it is your indole group of tryptophan is responsible for the absorption of UV light at 280 nanometer. Apart from tryptophan, other aromatic amino acids like your phenylalanine and your tyrosine are also responsible for this UV absorption at 280 nanometer. Yes, these are the list of 50 questions. So in next video, I will be publishing for microbiology. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you friends. All the best for your gate examination.